the bell-shaped curve, a symmetrical curve representing the probable distribution of data. Let's apply this graph to a dealership sales staff. On one extreme, you have the head of the class, the top performers. They approach the beginning, middle, and end of the month with the same vigor and intensity. On the other side of the graph, you'll find the green peas and the burnouts bringing up the rear. Now, the majority of the staff is in the middle, thus the bell-shaped curve. Somewhere in the middle of the majority lies a special group, a clique of salespeople who have created a comfortable and complacent world of subpar professionalism. In a store where the average salesperson is expected to sell 12 cars, this group is known simply as the Seven Car Club. Gary has a lot of promise. He used to be a 20 car salesman. He comes from a long line of car salesmen. One philosophy my pops had was you don't eat until you sell a car. Well, I went from morning to 10.30 at night the other day without eating a thing. Finally, I sold a car. So I run down to Luigi's, order up a chicken parm, ate it till I was blue in the face. I love you, pops. Vince has been in the business for a long time. He's a good guy, but a little grumpy. He's got something to say about everyone. This new generation, they don't sell cars anymore. They sell money. With all this internet crap, they drop their pants, sell at cost. They don't even bother learning the product anymore. Vince is close to Gary, but they didn't always get along. In fact, they used to be bitter enemies. And it all started on a busy Saturday afternoon. Boss, sorry. I just took my car into prep, smashing this red SUV out there. I just sold that car! So Vince tried to get him back by taking one of Gary's clients. Those aren't your clients, those are my clients. I'm working that deal. No, I've been working the same people for days on the same exact car. I got car. that as a phone pop, no. it's my deal they now. They asked for me when they first walked Nobody in Nobody asked for you when you came to me, oh. boss. They fought so many times it just became a part of their relationship and everybody got used to it. Now, they're best friends. The Seven Car Club, an exclusive group of car guys who know it all, yet use so little. Like Sam here. I don't know why I'm part of the Seven Car Club. Last month was a horrible month given I only sold five cars, an exception. Before that, I sold nine. Then there was seven, okay, seven. Before that, it was six. Then I sold eight. I only sold seven one time. Go figure. One of Sam's biggest problems is a lack of focus. Bro, I always get in trouble. I have problems staying focused. It's like having ADD, but I don't. The Seven Car Club, a united front that bands together in laughter and good times. I couldn't understand the humor at the beginning. They locked me in the trunk. Uh, they used to do the toe tap on me all the time. They uh, put, me to, put me together. That's what it is. They put me together. Then I realized it was harmless, like a, like a bunch of bear cubs rah, pawing at each other, you know? It's all good now. The Seven Car Club, an elite club that's learned to master the system. They're the first to ask management for a bonus and the last to train and learn something new. In the car business, things are always changing. Models, bank programs, supply and demand. So it's really hard to stay in the zone and refuse change. But with little work and a lot of complacency, you too can join the Seven Car Club.